okay so this this week I'm gonna do a little project that um, is just kind of a finishing up project in the tower you saw before where we did the boot room we did the lower level of the tower Michael and Graham come in the other week and did the top part of the tower for me we've got the lower level of the tower now where I'm standing that we haven't done anything with now in the archives it tells us that this goes further down um, we had a historian come round that also confirmed the formation of the stones indicates that there is another level under where we're standing so the ground floor of the chateau now i don't even remember way back in one of the videos when we was doing apartment one and ted drilled into the floor to put an earth spike in and it went straight through to a void underneath we've never been able to find out what is under that void and the idea is in a wonderful world is that we would have a dig dig out all this mud and dirt from this part of the tower and uh, dig it all up and find the way down now there is a hole under here um, at the moment there's a lump of mud in there and I started digging out and thought I'm, I'm really not comfortable with removing that lump of mud that seems to be holding the tower up so um so i'm not going to so we're not going down there um it would be great but to be able to do an archaeological dig in here and find out if there's anything further underneath and any towers as it states in the archive there are um not towers sorry there are tunnels that go from here to lesotho rain church for us to find out if that's true that would cost us thousands tens of thousands probably maybe into even the hundreds of thousands um we would need architects we would need specialized um, arche um archaeologists to come and do that dig for us we don't have that money so um we can't do it which is, is is a real shame but it can't be done so i need to tidy up this area but i kind of want to show people that there is something further under here um and um people then to use their own imagination we obviously won't be able to go down there but I want to kind of put some steps in here going down but first of all today's job is just to mortar this wall um sorry render this wall I'm not going to mortar it. I'm going to render it so it's like the rest of the internal part of the tower render this wall because I've got the cement mixer going while I've got a bit of time um I might as well get this done and it's a lovely day outside for for mixing up mortar so I'm going to mortar this put some stones in it and um yeah that's about it with this area um unless we win the lottery of course <laughs> it's it's quite good actually though having the um using your imagination as to what could be down there um i quite like that anyway but um yeah for now it's cracking on with work so i've removed all the old plaster from here and um yeah i'm gonna start rendering <laughs> Okay, I think I'm probably going to start with the lower part first um, and work my way back. I think that's probably the best bet to do. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see in here, but uh, we'll give it a go. Now, because I'm actually rendering this and not pointing it, um, the majority of the work I'm going to do is actually with my hands. Um, and just literally throwing it in. I've got quite a wet mix here, a lot wetter than I would normally have if I was doing the pointing. As you can see, you throw it again and it compacts it as you throw it. Oh, 
time to get some more mix. I think it's going to take quite a few this job. End of the day, um, and I'm really chuffed with what I've got done today. Four mixes it took to do this, and um, yeah, really, really pleased I got it done. So this is going to now have to be left to dry before I can give a little brush back. Um, so we do that tomorrow. I was even had time to get the little step in the first step. So this will also need to leave for a few weeks quite a few weeks before we can actually paint it hopefully it will be dry enough and fine enough for me to be able to paint before our first guests arrive in april but um i'm just really pleased that i've been able to tidy this up over the next couple of weeks i'll let the first step embed in for a couple of days and then i'm going to put the rest of the stones in so we'll come back when i'm doing that but uh yeah good day today good day okay so the next step in the step saga <laughs> is to find another step. <laughs> so I need it to go, I need a really triangular step to go in here. Um, if I can find one. So I'm just gonna measure that and go and take a walk over the piggeries and see if I can find a stone that will go in there. Coming over the piggeries. Okay, so stone. Uh, Hansy, Bessie, come in here. Stop it, come in. Oh, I think we might have seen one already. Now obviously when we move over here into the piggeries with the caravan, we're going to need to clear all of this stone out and find another place for it. Um. So yeah, nice triangular bit there. And then there's another nice triangular bit over there. But I'm a bit worried about pulling that one out because the rest of that stone pile might just fall. So I think I might need Ted to come give me a hand and uh, take them over. Because we're going to need a couple of uh, corner pieces anyway so that it goes round in the circular pattern of the tower. But um, there's certainly plenty of stone over here that we can use. I love the stone. It's just, it's just amazing, all these huge pieces of stone. But uh, by the rate we're going through it, we'll probably run out of it at some stage. Okay, let's get Teddy Bear. Okay, Ted's a bit busy at the moment. He's asked me to wait um, until he's finished something he's doing. I don't want to wait. So I don't know if I can get them over. This one's not, not too bad. It's quite heavy. I think I can get the wheelbarrow over. This one I'm just not sure about. I might do. 
can see this beautiful huge piece of stone now that's my hand just to try and give you an idea of how big it is um, very very thick and probably too big to put under the stairs but isn't that a gorgeous piece it looks a bit like it's been carved into an archway it could well have been some sort of dressed stone for something got to use that somewhere beautiful but I have found some really nice flat pieces so I think I'm going to go and get the wheelbarrow come back and uh, pick some of this up and take it back Take one of these bits here and see what Ted thinks it is. Let's give you a close up. Definitely looks like it's very blue. Definitely looks like a thick piece of slate. Okay, so I think we've got enough of our stone that we need. We're probably going to need a bit more, but for now, just to get me going. I think I've got enough, so I'll take this back and um, and yeah, see if I can get any of it in. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. I think I might. I think I might have overfilled my barrow. Oh my god. <laughs> Right, what bit am I going to leave behind? Oh, I don't want to leave any behind. Let's, uh, oh. Okay, let's just, let's just do it. Let's do this. You can do it. Oh, come on. Come on. molehill and then I'll be all right Come on. why can't the stone pole be a bit closer hand don't chase the barrow please Move out my way, kids. Come on. <laughs> what is it they say? Never work with kids or animals. <laughs> you should see. These two are standing right in front of me, in front of the wheelbarrow, just looking at me. Get out my way. Get out my way. Right in my way. You're gonna get out of my way. Get out of my way. Best get out, please. 
Not moving anymore. I'm just gonna go up and see Ted and show him this uh, square piece of um, stone, whatever it is. Baby, yeah. I've been me moving stone around in the piggeries, and I found a load of these. What? I found a load of these. What are they? Look at it. Oh, slight. Yeah, this is where the, the monument, uh, the thing in the monument. Thick pieces of sleigh. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's very lovely, yeah. Yeah, I've seen them before in the main house. What, in our house over yeah. the road? Yeah, there's loads of The coach there. house. Nice it's one. gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so it's not a new discovery then. Sorry? Not a new discovery. <laughs> <laughs> So it is as I thought, it's sleigh, but it's beautiful. I'm gonna have to try and use that somewhere as a decorative piece. Let's put it down here for now. Okay, so now next job is to try and find which one of these stones is gonna fit on my corner. on this stone. Don't like it. I think it's too small. Oh, I need to get the bigger one in it. You want to help? It's oh, a pretty little one, eh? If I get in, yep. I might need to put a bit more. Oh, look at the shiny. Look at the sparkly on it. I know, it's a lovely piece, that, isn't it? Uh, which way do you want it round? Um, so I need the straightest bit here and round here. So that, this bit here. So do you need that edge or? I, don't know. Oh, I think, well, that's the longest edge, isn't it? That's the longest yeah, stage. Yeah, probably that. But that I don't know if that corner will stick too far. We could lop it probably off. Probably the other way. I've got a grinder that will go through that. Let's put it in and see. Let me grab that in. Like it's nice sparkly side. Look yeah. at that. Isn't that beautiful? What about turning it the other way? But you know that. Um, yeah, you'd have to flip it over again. But just thinking about that edge in there. I thought. I'd, oh yeah. No. Yeah. That edge. Just the short edge up there. Yeah. Well, that sits. It's quite nice, you know. You've got. I could just put a corner. Yeah, put a little piece in there. Unless you unless wanted you to, unless you wanted to. that bit off. You want to cut. Just cut there. That. Just, just that bit there. Look at that. It's beautiful. So like, up to sort of about here. Yeah. But off there, like that. Right. Oh, I think if you just take that piece. Just take this bit up here. there, yeah, I think that'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So they got, oh, look at that. Wonderful. Well All done, right. baby. Pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah, that'll be fine. Happy with that? Yeah. Yeah, and then my next step can go here. Yeah. And yeah. if you're using those little pavers, where did you get those from? Over in the piggeries. Oh, brilliant. Now, this stuff I've got in here on the floor is actually where I've been watering upstairs. When I brush back, this is the stuff that comes off. So it is actually lime water. So one, that will help with any damp issues down here. But two, if I build this up now, I'm going to put some water in there and that will make it go nice and hard so it'll give it a really nice floor to embed on. I think that's a good step height. Right, let's get this back in. If I can remember which way it went. Oh shit, which way did it go? So with the second step in, it was now time to start digging out for the third and the fourth. All this stuff that I'm digging out now, it's all the stuff that we threw in here when we were doing the boot room. And uh, cause I knew that I'd need this lime mix when I come to doing the stone. Didn't realize how much we chucked it in. <laughs> I've now taken two buckets out. I think I need a third out of here. Oh, that looks beautiful. It looks great, doesn't it? Super. Oh, be careful, man. Oh, can you take that? There's no legs off of it. I think I'm going to need a fourth bucket out. Okay. Test the water oh. hole. Cool, three steps in. Oh yeah. I might just try and get a little triangular piece of yeah. stone to go here. Yeah. <laughs> that. That's a bit like made of measure, isn't it? Yes. It's been a couple of days now since I finished up the first part of the work in this area. And when I left it, I had placed the last piece of stone in the bottom of the stairwell and impacted all the mud that I had left into the hole under the tower because there's quite a draft that comes up there so I impacted it in quite tightly and this was all clear and um and looking lovely and I thought right I'll give it a couple of days to start drying out then I can come back brush it back clean it up the stone up and give you a final look of how I've ended it this week because this will all need to take quite a few weeks before I can paint this uh, because it really needs to dry off um, quite a lot before it gets a paint. So, so we, it's a project that we have to come back to. Anyhow, so this morning I come back to the tower to show you what it's like with the staircase going down. And I look down and think, what? What's gone on here? And I really had one of those moments where I thought I was going mad that maybe I hadn't done as much as I thought I'd done. Because, I don't know if you can see, but there is all mud here. This, look, the stair, the last step you can see is the third one I laid in. 
Now you guys know that I laid more than three in. And, um, and it, look, it's just filled with mud again. So I sat here and looked down and thought, where's all this mud come from? There's, there's nowhere. What, what has happened? Now when I was digging out the tower, I'd left a couple of buckets of mud outside to throw over in um, where we're going to have the vegetable patch because it's really nice, really nice soil. And um, Ted had said to me, shall I throw this mud while I was washing up? And I said, yes, please. And I thought, he hasn't thrown it back in the tower, has he? So I went and got him and said, where did you throw that mud? He said, no, I threw it over in the garden. Got him to come and look, and we're both standing here, like scratching their head, literally scratching their heads, thinking, how has this mud got back in here and we can no longer see the stairs that I put in? With that, I'm down literally like I am now. And I, I, I'll give you some close-ups because you won't be able to see it. But as I'm looking down, I suddenly see the huge hole that's under the tower. And with that, something moved and flew out of the tower at me and literally scared the hell out of me i tell you my heart was pumping and it was hilarious well it's, it wasn't hilarious at the time but afterwards it was hilarious because it literally scared the hell out of me and do you know what it was did you guess yes it was their little petty maid bessie had come down dug out the hole again and got down in the tower so the only thing or person or thing that knows what is under this tower is a dog that can't tell us yes you bessie yes it was you was it did you go down there did you go down there you're not going back down there <laughs> bless you and she came out her nose was thick mud and put everything was thick mud where she's dug it out so yeah Anybody that wants to know what's down in the tower will have to try and do dog language and talk to Bessie about it. <laughs> but there is now a huge hole down here, which um, somebody could probably get into, but I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm not that brave. I'm not that brave. Should we send you down with the GoPro? You won't see a thing though, will you? It's pitch black. But oh, I tell you, it was the funniest thing. Um, now looking back on it, it really did scare me because I didn't know what it was that was coming out from under there. But I think it's probably safe to say that if she got down there, there's a lot more void down there than, uh, than we can see right here, which is quite exciting. Um, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to clear all this area back out again. And under there, I'm actually going to go and get a load of stone and, um, and, and block it up with stone so that Little Bessie can't go and get lost down underneath in the void, whatever is under here. Um, and yeah, and then I'll bring you back and show you where I'm at and what I should be showing you right now. But now I've got a lot of clearing out to do. I've got to as far as I can get to now on the tower at the moment. It's going to take a few weeks for this all to dry out, settle in. There's still a lot more work to do on it. But um, yeah, come back in a couple of weeks and see what we've got planned then. I'm so excited about this area. I can't wait to finish it. Anyway, thanks for joining us. And um, it's been great to work on a project on my own this week. Although I did have to uh, get Ted to help me in with the stones. But um, yeah, I'm pleased with this six work. Take care everyone, thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll see you all again soon. Back to apartment three next week. Take care, love to you all. Bye. We would like to say a big thank you to you as subscribers and all of our patrons for sticking with us over the last couple of years. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to continue to do this project and to finish Chateau de Montmagne. So thank you, take care, and we'll see you all again next week. Goodbye.
Someone to share my dreams Someone to follow me 